If you follow my channel already, you'll be fairly familiar with the brand Benzac. Over the last year, I've had these wonderful 15-ounce uh, uh, salvage denim jeans, uh, the B01s in the sort of slim taper cut. Um, you'll have seen a couple of videos on those, and most recently a 12-month review showing some really, really nice uh, sharp fades, um, whiskers, honeycombs, really, really nice denim. Uh, I'll cut in a couple of shots so you can see a little bit about those, but if you really want to find out, do check back on that video. Um, so I kind of know what Benzac have to offer in terms of their denim, the cuts, and their, um, the, the, their choice of material. I thought I'd check out what else they had to offer, having sort of lived with these for a year, really happy with them, and Benzac is a, a company which is sort of some interest to me, being a European com company. Um, so I've picked up a couple of other items. I've picked up the uh, BC01, uh, tapered chinos in a, a really nice lightweight seven and a half ounce sand linen and I've picked up the BSO4 heavyweight sweatshirt so a little bit different normally I'm sort of focusing on uh, denim indigo that sort of stuff fades um, but these are different products I really like the brand wanted to check something different out so if we start off with the uh, with the chinos um, they're a very, very similar cut to the uh, B01s, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. Um, so if we look at the cut, um, this is a, 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 a slim tapered cut uh, with a quite nice and roomy sort of top box um, and uh, thigh, while still keeping that nice tapered look. That does really help out a lot in the day-to-day sort of -day comfort. Um, so the B01s, really nice slim leg, really nice look, but it isn't sort of agonising during break-in. They're comfortable to wear all day long, and that's very much what you get with these as well. Um, both of these, I've actually gone for a 31 tag size. Um, that seems a little bit small for me. I'd normally expect to get a 32, and a real waist measurement of somewhere around 40, uh, 34, 34 and a half will be comfortable, but Benzac, they run a little bit, I guess they run a bit big if they're, they're on, a, on a smaller tag size. Um, so measuring these up, the waist comes in at uh, 35 inches. The front rise is 11 and a half inches. At the rear, it's 15. On the thigh, it's 12. At the knee, so 14 inches down from the thigh, uh, down from the crutch is eight and three quarters going down to a really nice tapered hem at seven and a quarter inches the inseam is a relatively generous uh, 33 and three quarters um, so thinking about the fit and the inseam um, we'll cut in a couple of shots here uh, the first is the the denim or the the chinos uh, uncuffed so that is where the pair of Dana uh, ball runs, which I've also reviewed recently. And that's sort of a, a, maybe a little bit formal. I think probably for me, if I was going to wear them uncuffed, I'd be wearing them, uh, maybe having them uh, bought up a little, uh, hemmed a little. And then next up, we have a nice more casual cuffed look with a pair of Vans uh, high tops, the Skate High. And if you look way back when, I've also reviewed those just a really really nice casual shoe especially for the summer so on to the details of the denim uh, on to the details of the chinos um, Benzac do some really really nice detail detailing and it's no different uh, with these so let's just hop in for a few close-ups and take a look at how these are put together coming in for some details um, one of the things which you always pick up at Benzac or my experience has been is just really great attention to detail so the choice of contrasting stitch on the belt loops reinforcement on the pockets just adds that uh, that sort of experience of owning a quality product it's really nice to pick up those little details over time as you wear them um, nice branded buttons on the fly um, with the bdd on the back always nice that they sort of add that extra on the inside of the fly as we found with the uh, the, the jeans it's a nice little brandy on the edge there 
and that's where you'll find your tag size. As I say, 31. So a size kind of large, so normally I'd expect to go for a 32, and with vanity sizing that would end up probably being around 34 on the waist. These are just over that. Zipper fly, so most of my denim tends to be button flies, that's my normal preference. Obviously chinos being a lighter weight material, you're looking for a zip fly. And this is a branded uh, talon zip, um, which is typically considered to be a really, really robust uh, bit of zip engineering. On the inside, really nice quality construction, um, nice thick pocket bags, really, really heavy, you know, almost heavier than the, uh, the canvas of the, uh, the chinos itself. In terms of the canvas of the chinos, uh, as I say, this is a, uh, a sand 7.5 Salvage uh, linen chino, and this is made by uh, Blue Salvage uh, Bertie in Italy. Nice slanted pockets, as I say, good sized, strong pocket liners there. And just moving down the front to the cuff, nice tapered cuff, and a really, really nicely finished uh, but subtle salvage detail there. As I say, I will probably be having these cuffed um, just because they're slightly longer in leg and I'll be wearing them sort of more casually, so with fans, high tops and that sort of thing. Nice detail there. And flipping around to the back, a couple of uh, slot pockets, neither have uh, buttons on, but nicely finished. Nice sort of darts in there just to get that tapered fit. One of the, thing that's, uh, one of the things that Benzac do is to have a curved um, waistband which just gives you that um, nicer fit from the get-go. If you've ever looked at uh, a belt over time you'll notice it develops a curve because that's actually, don't quite understand why, but that's how things want to sit on your waist ultimately. Nice bit of branding on the, on the back there kind of hoping that I don't need to wear this with a belt. I think it's a, a fairly nice snug fit on the waist for me, so that, that will be visible, which I quite like. And then you've got the little tab, chosen to go for a sort of fabric, and I think that's just a really nice feature, and sort of in, in line with Benzac's approach to coming up with really nice looking products. Okay, next up is the, uh, the heavyweight hoodie. Um, just unfurl it a little bit, uh, get a bit of a feel for what's going on. Um, so this is a really what they describe as a super heavyweight uh, sweat material. So this is uh, 500 grams for the meter squared. This is a French terry, really nice sort of weave on the inside. I'll come in for some close-ups in a minute, but really nice, super, super soft. I don't know whether they pre-wash this or, or what, but you know, really super nice. Um, the cut on this is really, really nice. So this is a medium for me. Um, the cut is very uh, slim and, and, uh, and tailored, and it's got a really nice uh, cut on the arms, especially not too long, no sort of bagging at the, at the wrists, really slender all the way through. And what really helps keep that slender profile are the, uh, the, the cuffs, the nice sort of deep ribbing on the cuffs and on the hem really, really help maintain that slim profile which I like and which I look for in a hoodie. So in terms of the cut, this is a medium and just a few measurements to give you a bit of a feel for, for how this measures up. It's 45 on the chest. The length is 36 inches. Across the shoulder is 18. The sleeves are 23. And right at the bottom there, at the opening is 19 and a quarter. Okay, so let's hop in for a few details and see how this is put together as well. Coming in to pick up the details on this hoodie, the uh, BS04. As I say, this is a, a 500 gram, super heavyweight uh, sweat material. Really nice texture on the inside there, sort of loop texture. Held together at the front here by another talon zip as we found with the, uh, with the chinos. Um, however, this one is two-way, so you've also got a zip up at the bottom there, just so you can get that fit you want, and if you want a little bit more movement at the waist, you can 
let it up by a few inches just to give that slightly more comfortable fit. Got some nice really uh, well put together uh, hand warmer pockets here. Really unusual feature, not something I've seen before, but to have the, the rivets in the style that you'd find on, on your jeans. Really nice feature. And if we flip into the inside there, you can see they've also got the BDD Benzac Denim Developers branding, which is really nice. Nice detail on the zip there. Super heavy duty. Talon are generally considered to be pretty bomb proof. On the pocket, we've also got the uh, the Bull's Head logo there. I always thought that was a, a steer's head, but I was just checking on the Benzac website and it's a, a Bull's Head, so that's our sort of logo. Hood is uh, double thickness, so nice and warm. Nice little bit of branding on the inside. Really nice, tight, deep ribbed cuffs and uh, waist. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, if you haven't seen Benzac before, I hope that was useful, a good introduction to the brand. Um, please do check them out. It's really nice to be able to sort of feature a European company. Um, these are generally made in Portugal. They do outsource some of their construction to, uh, to Japan for some of their higher end products, but loads of this material is based in Europe. Uh, the denim's often coming from Japan, but a really nice brand and really interesting to check something different out. If you haven't seen my channel before, um, as you can probably imagine, really into denim, quality footwear, um, but also things like everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing, a bit of cycling, uh, I've got a Brompton, really like that, uh, guitar, running, that sort of stuff. So please check out the channel. We might share out some other common interests. Of course, if you like it, please subscribe. And if you feel this video is useful, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, well, I hope that's useful and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.